minute since I've vlogged. I've been having exams, but yesterday I wrote my last one. So exams are officially over. I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm just today. I let myself sleep till 12 p.m. Cause why not? Like no more exams. I'm done with that shit, and I did a good job. So I'm proud of myself. But we're starting a new vlog. So let me just tell you guys what's on the agenda. Um, so usually when I'm done with exams, you guys know I usually go to Ghana. However, this summer I'm not going to Ghana. Um, it's a whole bunch of reasons why. Long story short, I'm working. I decided to work. I didn't want to like stop working. Plus I'm starting my semester abroad early September. So I just kind of have these last few days of July and then August, and then I have to start my semester abroad. Instead of that, I'm doing a couple of trips, like a couple of short trips. And my first one is next week. I'm going to the UK. I'm going to Brighton to visit my aunt and my mom. Um, so I'm excited for that, and I'll take you guys along. We're going to do like a travel prep in this vlog. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. With the plan for today, I was supposed to have work today, but I can't go. I'm not feeling too good. Later, I have a picnic with some of my friends and um, we do this thing in our friend group where because of uni and the stress other people's birthdays usually fall during exams it's hard to celebrate like everyone's birthday individually so we we do batch birthdays right so right now we're celebrating like three people's birthdays today and also i went to the doctor two days ago um because i wasn't feeling too good like i've been having frequent headaches and I was getting very dizzy like at work and stuff and at first I thought maybe it's just exam stress but I know I, I used to be anemic um, and then I gained weight and it was fine and you guys know I recently lost a lot of weight <laughs> guys just side note I'm losing so much weight I'm losing my mind like you guys know I wanted to lose weight like I was on a whole weight loss journey I did it I reached my goal my goal was 65 kg even after 65, when I was like 64, 63, I was like, this is still fine. Every single month, I step on the scale, it's just been reducing and reducing. You guys will not believe how much I weigh right now. It's insane. I was 58, 58.6 kg. I even have a picture. I was 58.6 kg. But yeah, I had a feeling that all this weight loss has obviously my diet changed and all that i had a feeling that my iron levels had really dropped again so we did a blood test i went back the next day and the doctor looked at me shook <laughs> so my iron levels are extremely low guys it's not even funny i'm laughing about it but i was genuinely scared um so like my levels should be around 12 to 15 and right now they are nine um so i'm having like shortness of breath i thought it was like my anxiety but apparently it's my low iron. Did like my everything shower routine i don't think i've spoken about it yet but i started laser hair removal now when it comes to hair removal i've tried everything i've tried shaving i've tried waxing first of all shaving is very annoying because in like two days one to two days the hair just starts growing back i didn't emphasize this enough but waxing is excruciatingly painful it can feel like you're ripping off your skin especially when you're doing it yourself I don't have it in me to be inflicting such amount of pain on myself. I've always known like about laser hair removal, but to be honest, I always thought it was like a very expensive um, process and you always had to like go to a saloon or like wherever they do it. 
we always had to like book appointments treatments like i really thought it was a whole fiasco and then i figured out you can do it your home now i'm a diy girly and if i can save my time and my money that's it for me so i got this at home kit this is it it's from you like shaved earlier today and it's because it's advisable to shave right before you do your laser treatment so that the laser can get the hair follicles directly from the roots so i've already done three treatments you guys can see this is like the treatment tracker that came with the box so i've done three already i've already started seeing results my hair is not completely gone but the regrowth process has really reduced the you like hair removal device has an shr mode which removes all stubborn hairs especially in the underarms and bikini area and it only takes about 10 minutes to go over your whole body the device doesn't only remove hair it also slows down the regrowth process and unlike typical lasers it's nearly painless due to its eye schooling technology the device comes with three power modes fast mode is for maintenance and small touch-ups the normal mode is for removal of final hair and the high mode is for removal of very thick hair especially now in the summer is such a convenient way to get rid of all your body hair i use it currently for my underarms and my legs and i'm seeing so much progress it's insane even though i've only used it three times the hair grows back so much slower and the hair is even thinner i can't wait for the day where i'll be completely hairless like smooth like butter i'll be on my trip for about six days and within that time i would have to do another session so it's really convenient that like i can just take it like this in my to go like bag so if you guys are interested in trying out at home laser hair removal i would definitely recommend you like because i've used it myself and it's a really great product as far as i've seen so all the details will be in my description box below and i'll also have a discount code for you guys so you guys can go check it out and save some money off whenever you want to purchase guys i'm getting ready um to leave we changed the plan so i think we're going to get food like we're just going to restaurants but i'm just doing my makeup i wanted to show you guys i've been using this new foundation as like wait my everyday kind of foundation and it's like a soft matte finish i don't sweat it out of course like i get a bit oily like here and there but for the most part it stays matte on my face so it's my go-to like going to work foundation just like i don't know just everyday kind of all right guys i'm done with my makeup oh this i'm wearing this bodysuit wait yeah this bodysuit and then i have one of these blue jeans so the bodysuit is from sheen the blue jeans are from h&m this is my outfit i feel like it's very casual but it's still very cute for like brunch so i'm not sure about vlogging um i'll probably like show little clips of like if we get food and stuff like that but i'm not really going to vlog my friends um so yeah I'll talk to you guys probably later today or tomorrow so stay tuned for that but for now bye guys hi guys it's been a couple of days honestly it's like 10 p.m and I was at work the whole day so I still have my makeup on it's melting off my face as you guys can see but I want to finish packing before I go shower so I've been packing for a while now I'm exhausted I'm stressed I'm only be going to be gone for like six seven days and I'm overpacking. I don't know why, but I just can't help it. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I fit all my clothes here. I'm not taking like the biggest suitcase I have. I'm taking like a medium sized one. And I hope it won't be overweight. Like I hope it's okay. If not, I would have to take your hand luggage as well. That is just all I'm doing right now. I'm watching the, the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders thingy on Netflix. And it's actually interesting. I don't even think I like it, but it's interesting. <laughs>